say cheese. I found this under the house. There was all kinds of old stuff. It's so cool. Take one of me. Come on, take one of me. Sure. Get me in a good pose, okay? Okay, I'm ready. What's wrong? Um, where's my dad? He'll be fine. Are you sure? Need to You want to see what I found? Will you show me how to use it? I couldn't find any bullets. If something's wrong, I should know. What if I have to use one? It's too dangerous. Everything is dangerous. I need to know sometime. You should let your dad teach you. What should I shoot? Don't do that! S -s -s Sorry! Sorry! Maybe I could practice outside. There's that tree. Hey, Luke's back! Und damit willkommen zurück zu The Walking Dead Season 2 Episode 2 und ich habe ein ganz, ganz ungutes Gefühl, wenn Sarah da jetzt rausrennt, war das wirklich Luke oder war das sonst wer und da, jetzt fuchtelt ihr auch noch mit einer Pistole rum, womit sie nicht umgehen kann. In <lacht> äh, ich, natürlich wäre es sinnvoll, wenn sie damit umgehen könnte, aber äh, wir haben gerade Carlos gesagt, dass er uns vertrauen kann, dass wir aufpassen und dass wir, wenn möglich, nicht erzählen, was da draußen los ist und ich wollte einfach jetzt mal ein paar Pluspunkte bei Carlos sammeln. Ähm, aber das wird wohl schwierig, wenn Sarah mir da wegrennt. Und ja, gucken wir mal, ob wir eine Chance haben, da jetzt nochmal was gut zu machen. Ich will nicht, dass sie mit einer Waffe rumrennt, das gefällt mir überhaupt nicht. Das soll sie lieber mir geben. <lacht> Denn Clem weiß, was damit zu tun ist. Okay, das sieht auf jeden Fall menschlich aus, nicht zombiehaft. Aber trotzdem habe ich gerade ein ungutes Gefühl. <lacht> Könnte auch einer von Carvers Männern sein. Und wenn jetzt Sarah entführt wird oder was weiß ich nicht. Oh mein Gott, dann bin ich echt unten durch. Dann denken sie erst recht, dass ich ein Spion bin. Da habe ich... Oh Gott, da schleicht er rum. Sonst hier kann man sich nichts angucken. Doch das Fenster wieder, weil da ist ja eh schon vorbei. Ah, ich habe ein ungutes Das ist nicht Luke. Bleib mal raus. Ich denke, ich ihn. He can't see me. You have to make him go away. Go and find somewhere to hide. Where? No. Clem, I can't breathe. I can't, I can't breathe. Shh. Hello? Hello there. Who are you? Well, actually, I'm your neighbor. Neighbor? That's right. My family and I are set up a ways down river. I'm kind of surprised we haven't run into each other yet. What's your name? Hmm. Clementine. Clementine? Well, you look just like a Clementine. You mind if I come in, Clementine? I've been out all morning and this heat has got me cooked. Would you please leave? This is a nice place. Is there anyone else around? You don't usually see cabins this big out here. Sure could pack a lot of folks in there. We have a big group. Lots. Oh? How big? Dozens. Uh. They'll be back soon. And they left you here all alone. They must trust you. 
Well, I'll cut to the chase. I'm out looking for my people. Seven of them, to be exact. They've been gone a long while, and I'm worried they might have gotten lost. Maybe you've seen them. A couple of farm boys and an old man. Spanish guy and his daughter. Quiet girl. A bit taller than you. Big black guy. This big. And a pretty little pregnant lady. I haven't seen him. Well, that's a shame. You sure? Pretty sure. Ich trau ihm nicht. Oh, oh, wenn das rauskommt, dass ich ihn gerade angelogen habe. Well, looks like a damn tornado ran through here. Must be like close to 10 people with you? More. Hmm. Just passing through or you've been here a while? Hey, listen, kid. I hope you're not one of those nuts headed up north looking for Shangri-La. And I'm not sure why you'd go anywhere after finding this place. Hell, I just got here and I already don't want to leave. Where do you live? Yeah, down by the river there. There's a sweet little spot with a boat where we pitch camp. Got a few tents up and everything else. And... Like I said, I'm surprised we haven't run into each other. Do you have a dog? No, I don't. What difference does it make? Just wondering. Where does this go? Oh, I'll take it. Well, it's a real nice place. Kind of cozy. I knew a guy that always wore shirts like this. Doctor. Real smug son of a bitch. But a smart man. What happened to him? Let's just say we had our differences. Sooner or later, people close to you will find a reason to cross you. Happens every time. Well, well. White's in trouble. Three moves away from checkmate. What was that? I thought you said nobody's here. I didn't hear anything. I told you, nobody's here. Seems that way. Didn't mean to be rude. Couldn't just leave you here with a good conscience if someone was poking around, right? Sure. Who's this? Fuck. Well, it's a kid. Yeah. Looks like it was taken in this room. You have no idea who these people are, do you? Do you know them? Let me ask you this. When you met them, how much did they trust you? What's your point? If people don't trust you, how can you trust them? <clears throat> well, I think I've troubled you long enough. I can let myself out. Why shouldn't I trust them? You have a real good day now.
Hmm. Hmm. Where is he? He's gone. What if he comes back? We need to find the others. We can't go outside. Clementine. Sarah. You were with Nick, right? We gotta go find him. A man was here. What? What did she say? Someone came to the cabin. What? Clementine talked to him. And you just opened the door for him? Calm down, Rebecca. Calm down? I am calm. You calm down. I didn't open the door. He just came in. She's telling the truth. Did he say his name? Did he say what his name was? Maybe it wasn't him. You know damn well who it was. Did he say his name? I didn't ask his name. You didn't ask his name? How could you not ask his name? He had a gun. I didn't want to make him mad. Look, Clem, just tell us what he looked like. What was he wearing? Ooh, Did he sound uh... different? His voice was gravelly. Like how? I don't know. Kind of deep and scratchy. He talked about you, Dad. You're not gonna hurt anyone, are you? Of course he won't, Sarah. Uh, your dad's the nicest man I know, which is why he's not gonna do anything crazy. Or not nice. Right? You know these are bad people, sweetie. They will do or say anything to hurt us. Uh, what do you think? Did it seem like he'd be coming back? He saw a picture of me. A picture? What were you doing taking pictures? Carlos. What? You need to calm down. All right, you're scaring your daughter. I took the picture. It's my fault. No, I asked her to. It's my fault. Sarah. He was scouting. We got lucky. He wasn't expecting to find us. Clementine must have surprised him. She hadn't been there. Well, he was too smart to stick around, but he'll be back with the rest. We don't have much time. He's right. Everyone pack up. We're moving out. Alvin, wait! We have to leave now, sweetie, before he comes back with more bad guys. But it's gonna be okay. Let's just go get your things. Why did you leave his camp? Because we had to. Clem, I don't know what he told you, but William Carver is a dangerous man. He's the leader of a camp not far from here, and he's very smart. We were lucky to escape. Look, I'm sorry to involve you, but now that he's seen you, you'll be safer with us. We have to leave. Look, we gotta find Nick on our way out of here. You know where he was, right? Yeah. All right. Everybody grab your stuff. Let's hit the road. Das war also Carver. Alles klar. <coughs> Da hätten wir das Foto nicht gemacht. He said it was just up here? Yeah, just a little ways. Hey Clem, sorry if I gave you some shit back there. I'm just a little on edge. I still don't like what you did. Sneaking around on us and taking advantage of my husband. But I know you were in a tough spot. Why is Carver after you? After me? Oh, you mean us. It's a long story. He... He has a hard time letting go. I know you did your best back there. You know, none of us would make it on our own. Sometimes it's hard knowing just how dependent I am on everyone. I'm not used to that. I'm not comfortable with that. I'm supposed to be a mom soon. Guess I need to work on my patience. Alvin and I still don't know what to call her. Or him if that man gets his wish. God help me. Any ideas? Clem? There. That's where we were. Nick! Get the door.
Jesus. Hey, man. You got any aspirin? Nick, you asshole. Pete's dead. I know, man, I do. We gotta get moving. Okay, Carver's gang showed up. Can you make it? Yeah. Yeah. Good, let's go. Hey, Clem. Huh. I just wanted to say, thanks for not giving up on me. I'm sorry about Pete. Yeah. Thanks. What happened back there in that cellar? Did he do something stupid? Look, you can tell me. I'm just looking out for him. So it wasn't pretty, huh? I'm worried about that kid. Keep an eye on him for me, would you? You sure you still want to come with us? Look, I know we got off to a rough start, and I can't make any promises it won't get rougher, but we all know you now. Yeah. I'm with you guys. And we are glad to have you. Not everyone is. Well, they'll get there. I figure we got about four or five days to reach those mountains. Now, if they're tracking us, we should be able to lose them up there. Five days? <clears throat> it's gonna be okay, Beth. We have to keep moving now. It's our only choice. <laughs> Nicky so schnell wie ein Zombie. <laughs> Äh, uh, fünf Tage später. See anything? She better see something. We've been walking for a damn week. We've got to find some shelter. There's a building on the mountain. What's it look like? It's big. That sounds like a good place to spend the night. Here, eat this back. There's a lift or something. Chairlift? Must be that ski resort. I've never been skiing. Beck and I went once. It wasn't pretty. So, mal gucken, ob wir noch was finden. Oh, das scheint das... Ah, die Brücke. There's the bridge. And does it look passable? I think so. Good. Und da haben wir noch ein Häuschen. There's a little house by the bridge. How big is it? It's pretty small. We have to cross that bridge. Let's go. Hold on now. We can't all go sprinting across that thing, okay? We get spotted out there, we're gonna be trapped. Going around that lake will take too long. Right, but look, we've got no idea who's out there. Okay, I'm gonna sneak across, make sure it's clear before we bring the whole group over. You think splitting up the group is a good idea? Well, I never said it was a good idea, but it's better than risking everyone at once. What's your plan? Clem and I can scoot across low and slow, make sure nobody's waiting for us on the other side. We'll have a tough time covering you from back here. Well, we'll just turn back if it gets hairy. Clementine should stay here. She's... She's what? She's just a little girl, Luke. It's she's a us. valuable little girl. I mean, hell, if she can sew up her own arm, she's fit to cross a bridge. I can do it. See? No problem. <clears throat> it's gonna be fine. Okay, we'll signal you guys in ten minutes. Just watch for a light at the far side. I can go too. You stay with the group. I'm fine, Luke. I don't like this. Yeah, well, when's the last time you liked anything, Carlos? If something happens, I'll cover you. Come on. Hey, uh, sorry about that. I just... I could really use your eyes, and right now I don't trust Nick to tie his own shoes. You're just still on edge after the Carver thing. It's been five days. 
Why would Carver still be following us? What's the most important thing in this world? What does everyone want? Even the gangs. You know, what do you think they're all after? Safety? Close. Listen, what's the one thing a guy would walk hundreds of miles to get back? Food. Nope. Come on. Clem, it's family. It's a okay. tough world out there without people you can trust. Anyways, you, you can ask Rebecca, okay? I'm, I'm not gonna get in the middle of it. We've all made mistakes. Done things that we regret. It's not my place to talk about someone else's past, you know? I know what that's like. Yeah. Hmm. Can't shoot them. Too much noise. But there are only two. Let's take them. I like your style. Oh, I'll take the big one. You get shorty. Wish we could use guns. We should be okay. Got it. I'll take the small one. Good. Let's do it. Come free. I know. I've done this before, remember? In a shed. <lacht> Na komm schon. Äh. Das ist ja widerlich. Ich wollte neu nice machen. Work, kid. Au. Gutes Team. Ich mag ihn. Und er mag Clem. Ist doch schön. So. Ah, das ist eine Waffe, das ist eine Waffe. Ah, komm schon.
Thanks, Clem. Let's keep going. Das ging ja noch mal gut. Ich habe fast befürchtet, er stürzt mir ab, weil ich zuerst den Zombie gekillt habe. Aber nee, alles gut. You see him? Yeah. Just play it cool. And you do the talking. What? <laughs> Why me? Because I don't want to get in a fight. You really think he chewed a little girl? Just don't make any sudden moves. And don't piss him off. And don't tell him anything. Is he with Carver? It's hard to see. I don't think so. Well, who are you? <laughs> well, who's asking? I am. I'm Clementine, and this is Luke. Clementine and Luke. Huh. You don't look like assholes. Are you assholes? No offense or anything, but you know how it is out here. You run into a lot of assholes. We're just people. Fair enough. You folks headed north like everyone else? Everyone else? I see at least one group a day move through here. They all look the same. It's like a great migration of the dazed and confused. Have you seen someone named Krista? Krista? Maybe. Really? No, I mean, a lot of people come through here. I don't know. I gotta say, you two look like shit. If you need food, I've got some canned stuff in that station back there. Well, that's, uh, awful nice of you. What's the catch? No catch. I've got plenty. Well, all right then. Thank you. Hey, no problem. Nice running into friendly faces out here. Like I said, I've got food and supplies back in the station. And if you want... What the fuck, man? What the hell is he doing? Was soll das? No, 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 he's, he's with us. Nick! No! Put it down! Don't shoot! Oh, man. Scheiße. Where is he? I told you not to shoot. What? Who was that guy? Why didn't you wait for a signal? He was going to help us. How do you know? Damn it, Nick. I told you not to shoot. How was I supposed to hear you? You gave me a clear shot. That shot rang out for miles. We gotta get off this bridge. Let's go. Das war jetzt eine Aktion, ey. Oh, so was kann ich mich aufregen über so Dummheit. Who the fuck was that back there? I don't know. Looked like he had a gun on you. That asshole drew on me. He was about to shoot. Oh, was he? I'm telling you, man, he drew first. Well, that's not what it looked like to me. Ugh. What did you see, Clem? Was that guy going to shoot? Fuck you, Luke. You've been on my case the whole week. And why do you think that is, Nick? He wasn't going to do anything. I know what I saw. Either way, you could have hit one of us. Yeah, but I didn't. Look, I I know Pete was close to you, Nick, but you can't... Don't fucking talk about him. You think he was with Carver? I don't know. I... No, I don't think so. But he fell over. He fell off the damn bridge? We have to keep moving. I can't. I need a minute. Fine. Luke, can I talk to you alone? Hey, Clem, you got anything to eat? Beck's dying here. Alvin, I told you I'm fine. Sorry, I'm out. Wish we still had those juice boxes. Yeah, me too. That man said he had food in the station. Mind checking it out? Maybe we could spend the night here. A little small for us, though. You could use a little downsizing. Sure. Thanks, Clem. 
<lacht> es ist ja irgendwie schon lustig, durch Suche die Haltestation nach Reisen, dass ich irgendwie als kleines Mädchen hier mal alles machen muss, ne? Ich soll mit dem Typen reden, ich soll vorausgehen, ich soll das Haus checken, wir kommen irgendwie, äh, fühlt sich das ein bisschen seltsam an. Ich meine, klar, wir sind der Protagonist, wir sind der Spieler, wir wollen was erleben. Äh, das hat damals bei Lee noch ein bisschen besser gepasst, wie jetzt mit Clem, finde ich. Aber na gut, ey, aber ganz ehrlich, die, 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 die das Ding ins mit Nick, ne, das war so dumm und törisch. Der Typ war ja anscheinend wirklich ganz nett, es sei denn im Haus sind jetzt tausend Fallen oder so. Aber ansonsten war das so eine dumme Aktion von ihm. Ähm, da, da wollte ich mich auch nicht 100% raushalten. Da musste ich auch mal ein bisschen Beef geben, ganz ehrlich. Da vielleicht wieder jetzt mal zurechtgewiesen. Das war echt dumm von ihm. Also keine Frage. Das, der Typ war nett. Zumindest macht er ja netten Eindruck. Einen netteren Eindruck wie dieser K war auf jeden Fall. Der mir gleich von Anfang an sehr unsympathisch war. Naja. Äh, wir sind schon wieder an der Zeit, Leute. Es geht so schnell rum. Wir werden dann genau an dieser Stelle dann das nächste Mal weitermachen, mit allen Leuten reden und dann natürlich uns im Haus genau umschauen. Vielleicht können wir ja mit Nick nochmal so ein kleines klärendes Gespräch führen, ein bisschen stutzen. Ich meine, er ist, kein, er ist ja nicht so verkehrt, aber ganz ehrlich, das war eine Scheißaktion. Das ärgert mich auch, dass man nichts dagegen tun konnte. Aber ansonsten haben wir uns ganz gut angestellt, finde ich. Die Sache mit dem Bild, äh, wo ich von Sarah gemacht habe, das äh, hätte ich das nicht gemacht. Ähm, ja. Dann wäre das vielleicht ein bisschen sicherer nochmal abgelaufen. Und sie, die verbergen ja irgendwas. Also Carlos vor allem, der verbirgt irgendein Geheimnis. Der hat bestimmt einen Grund gehabt, sich von der Gruppe loszulösen. Carlos hat bestimmt einen Grund, denen nachzugehen. Und das werden wir bestimmt noch herausfinden. Ich bin gespannt. Ähm, die Sache mit dem Bild, was mich auch noch ein bisschen ärgert, ist, dass ich äh, Kawa meinen Namen gesagt habe. Habe ich jetzt gerade an der Brücke gedacht, wo ich da nochmal meinen Namen gesagt habe. So der nach dem Motto, jetzt macht's Ding, Ding. Aber nee, der hat anscheinend wirklich nicht zu denen gehört. Aber es könnte in Zukunft natürlich auch blöd sein, dass ich da ein bisschen zu ehrlich zu Kawa war. Aber gut, ich bin gespannt, wie das weitergeht. Ihr hoffentlich auch. Bis zum nächsten Mal, bis es hier wieder heißt. Let's play The Walking Dead Season 2. Bis dann.